what better than a classic Winchester Model 42 and 410? You know, yeah, a beautiful day out of field. You've got a gorgeous gun here. I'm going really classic here. Ryan, what are you going to be doing for your 410? Oh, I, I have something that's uh, a little less traditional. Less traditional? Yeah. For the 410, we had to go a little different direction. A 410 revolver, the Judge. I'm sure that it wasn't designed for quail, but we're going to see how we can do on quail with this gun. Ryan threw me a real curve when he pulled out the judge. Well, it's going to be interesting. I don't know why I want to make this harder on myself with a 410, but I'm probably going to have to get about 10 yards from the birds. Yeah, I'm thinking you don't have a whole lot of barrel and no choke there. But this, this shoots 410 and 45 Colt, and the, the trick is, the reason that it can be short like this right. is it's a rifled barrel. Right. So when the pellets come out, they're spinning, so they spread <laughs> real quick. You better be a quick shooter there. Yeah, so we're gonna see how this goes. This should be interesting. Well, of course, we're just doing this for fun with this revolver, but there is some considerations here. With uh, carrying a handgun for hunting, you have to be extra careful because the muzzle is so short. It's actually a lot easier to cover another hunter or a dog with a muzzle of this than it would be a shotgun, so you kind of have to be careful with it. All right, Ryan, you, you got the little short gun. You get in there. Yeah. With this judge, I probably have about a 10-yard range, so I have to get very close to these birds, and when they get up, I have to shoot quickly. Get him, Ryan. You know, you're not used to point shooting a pistol like that at moving targets. It was tricky. But I think by the time they had gotten out to 15 or 20 yards, the pattern had spread out so much that there were huge holes in the pattern, so I'm just missing the bird. I don't know, I scared them. There were several times when I fired at birds and I felt like I was right on them. That's amazing. I was, I was right on that bird. You definitely gotta get on top of them though. Oh yeah, you gotta be real close. It took a while to figure out how to get my sights on that bird quick enough. Ah, it's too far. That's out of range for this little gun. Ah. The tree got in the way. The tree got in the way? Yeah, the tree got in the way. The tree got in the way. The old tree got in the way. Yeah, the yeah. 410 can't shoot through that little uh, sapling. <laughs> well, it's fun. We're not really sure if it's effective at this point. So. Yeah, we're going to keep working because I'm going to kill a quail with this thing. You are, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. But I knew at some point I was going to get one of these birds. The dogs were doing a great job. I did it! Finally, a bird got up and I connected. That felt great. A quail with a 410 revolver, baby. Getting a quail with a judge gets some pretty big bragging rights out of that one. I can't believe he got a bird with that revolver. And that's why we use a real shotgun. <laughs> Jackpot. Shit. I thought well, that was a pistol. Yeah, that's that's neat. Well, like you know, that. we thought it'd be kind of fun. The five gauge challenge. Thanks for helping us out with this today, Joe. Hey, I enjoyed that. I would never have believed you were actually going to Sit. get a quail with that. I smoked a quail you with this thing. You smoked a quail. <laughs> what a day like this is really about is just getting out, having some fun, getting to hunt with your son or your dad or your granddad. And really, that's what a shooting preserve and quail hunting are all about.